Donald Trump and Mike Huckabee have voluntarily departed the Republican field, but Newt Gingrich appears to have taken an involuntary step in the same direction only four days after entering the race. The former speaker's Sunday comments about the Ryan budget plan as regards health care were simply politically inexplicable. He attacked the Ryan plan, as you heard, as, quote, radical and as, quote, right-wing social engineering. That last phrase, about as harsh a criticism as one could level at a fellow Republican. And never mind that a couple of weeks ago, Gingrich told Time magazine he would have voted for the Ryan plan. Now he has not only disparaged the man who's a hero to many Republicans, he has handed Democrats a potent weapon against Ryan and the Republicans at the very moment they stand accused by Democrats of trying to destroy Medicare. Gingrich also indicated, as you heard, support for some kind of individual mandate requiring all be responsible for their health care, a centerpiece of Obamacare and anathema to many Republicans. He called his idea a, quote, variation on the mandate to buy insurance, which Mitt, which Mitt Romney passed in Massachusetts. Today, of course, Gingrich is trying to undo it all, claiming he's against such a mandate and he's a great admirer of Paul Ryan and so on. Republicans must wonder what he will say next and why he said what he already did. In fact, though, this is all vintage Gingrich, who is what he has always been, a provocative thinker, but a promiscuous talker. Brett? So this, in your opinion, does not go away quickly? I don't think so. I think this will haunt Gingrich for some time to come. And I, I, I've listened to the explanations that he's made today and his attempt to walk all this back. And I'm bound to say I was hoping that he would you know, knock that out of the park in a sense. But I don't think they've been a single bit effective. I don't think they wash.